Hi folks, I am Becky with Enduring Finances. Welcome back to our channel. Sorry for the slight delay on getting this video out. It has been a busy start to August, so we are a little behind on going back and reflecting on July, but we're going to go ahead and get through that right now. So July was my birthday month. I turned 30. Whoop whoop. I'm officially what some people might call a true adult now. We were able to celebrate quite a bit with my whole family coming in just uh, at the very beginning of August and celebrating just before my birthday and so it was a pretty good birthday I'm not gonna lie I had a lot of fun we went go-karting and I think we were going like 30 maybe 34 miles an hour was like the max we hit which was really fast uh, definitely pushed myself out of my comfort zone doing it but I had a fun time and would love to go back and go go-karting again I know we talked a bit about going on a trip at the beginning of July, right after the 4th, and we did. We went to the coast of California and did a little bit of beach time, not a whole lot of swimming. It was a little bit chilly, the water was cold, um, but the weather was just beautiful. A little bit overcast and, and foggy in the mornings, but the afternoons were beautiful at the beach. We did a little bit of digging for clams. Nothing was big enough for us to harvest actually, but you know, we had a lot of fun going out and digging and just playing in the sand and building castles and all the things. So that was a really good trip, a nice way to relax and spend some time in the sun. I know I talked about getting my garden going and I haven't talked about that in the last couple of months and that's because I did not get anything really set up before I started doing trips and before the heat set in. And then by the time I realized there was the cement pad. It was too late for me to really handle that before my last ditch effort to get anything in and it wouldn't have been good to plant and then leave on multiple trips without a way to heavily water them during the heat because we've been in triple digits. I mean we've been averaging probably like 102, 103 uh, pretty much all of July and most of the end of June so it got hot pretty quickly and it stayed really hot. So. I am going to try and do a small fall garden. Never done a fall garden before. I don't know anybody that's really done a fall garden before, but I'm going to attempt it and then I'm going to attempt to use the greenhouse through the winter and get starts going and have a large garden next year. So we're kind of adjusting and adapting and that's what you have to do in life and with goals. Still going to work towards it, still going to try it out and still going to do a breakdown of money and all that. but. We're just going to push that back a little bit and see how it goes. Speaking of money, let's get into how my finances have gone through July because we're getting a little bit tight on finances and we all know that happens sometimes. So you know, June was a horrible month for investing in the stock market. It plummeted down and I lost about 7% of my portfolio. Well, July, we saw a very big correction where we jumped up over 7%. So we essentially made back all the money that we lost in June, bringing my portfolio up to just under $30,000 again. We have been just tiptoeing along that line back and forth. So rounded it out with $29,945 in my portfolio. And then of course we have $117.89 in cash on hand ready to reinvest into stocks. And then my lending club balance is down to $147.71. So we are just slowly winding that down. Bringing my total personal investments, not including my retirement funds, to $30,210.89. As far as investing returns, I earned $119.83 in dividends in July next week or later this week i think yeah this thursday should be thursday we drop in a video that breaks down my entire dividend return for july talking all the investments all of the stocks that paid out in july and how i reinvested my dividend returns we earned 135 no we earned a dollar and 35 cents from lending club just getting that reinvestment back for investing in people's debt and of course we earned three dollars and two cents for my high yield savings account and that is down below two thousand dollars so pretty good return there bringing our total investing return to 124 dollars and 20 cents now as far as business income goes july was a slower month for us we did not make quite as much money i didn't sell any prints it's hot i don't blame them i did have a income from stock sales so this is just residual income i've done all the work it's just there and it's just going to slowly fall in, so I made a dollar and sixty-five cents off of that. 
And then of course from the ads on my website I made a whopping five cents, which is fantastic. I will take every penny. Bringing my total business income from Enduring Finances and Holy Smokes Photography to $1.70, so a low month there. As far as additional income outside of those specific things, I donated plasma again. We are back up and running, minus trips of course, so we're back up to about two times a week. So I brought in $505 from plasma in July. I continued to juice and charge Lime Scooters, bringing in $358.30 after taking out all the expenses for gas and electricity and all of that. And then of course continuing with Rover, we did a couple of different house drop-ins with dogs. I had an older uh, border collie, I think it's yeah, an older border collie come and stay with me. It was like 13 some years old. Old guy was just a little tired all the time, but he was adorable. Did some house visits, checked in on some pugs, on some of the, the English bulldogs with like, you know, the snort snout. Had a lot of people drop the ball, and I should say it, back out from me sitting their dog last minute. Lots of people sick or their trip was canceled because the dog was sick or anything like that. So I'm seeing that as a pretty steady, uh, like I say it's like 50-50 chance they're actually going to go through with it and not back out. Still working with Rover, I definitely have seen the request die down. As we're coming to the end of summer, I think we'll have a push over Labor Day probably, and then we won't have a really big push until Thanksgiving, and I don't know what my plans are yet with that. So I'm seeing that dwindle down. I don't anticipate making very much through the end of the year with Rover. I've got one um, client that I'm set up to go in and drop my visits on their cat while they're out, and then potentially start working with one of their rescue dogs on doing walks and kind of what is it called? Climatizing them to people? What is that? There's a word for it and I can't think of it, but I'll be working in the future with one of their dogs in particular to kind of adjust them to more people and socializing. Just work on socialization and all that. So we'll see a little bit of a trickle in the future, but we won't see any big numbers probably until next summer or spring break time. So that wraps up all of my additional income to $949.81. Bringing in my total earnings from investing, from my business income, and from the additional income to $1,075.71. So good month there, we're over $1,000 again. Happy to see that, need to see that. And we'll just keep moving forward with earning income. As far as goals, July has not been a good month for weight loss at all. I feel like I feel like we came off of June doing Mount Bora where I transitioned to trying to do an endurance type of a, a training method so I wasn't focused on weight loss and I needed to increase my calories for that. And then we came off of Mount Bora. We did 4th of July which is huge in my family. I went to California. We ate not the healthiest at all. I actually gained weight on that trip came back and then struggled to get back into the routine of lifting and working out, which a lot of people do. And then we hit birthday after birthday after birthday, right into the beginning of August with birthday. So we're gonna hit hard in August on getting back on track, eating healthy, working out consistently and getting back on losing more weight to get to my goal weight before the end of the year. That's the goal now. We're kind of adjusting and adapting as, as things happen and life happens. So we're pushing, we're still going to work on losing weight and getting stronger, especially the core and the flexibility, the mobility of my joints, my hips, my shoulders, my ankles, all the things. So that's still a very big goal. Still thinking around with the piano, have not been able to dedicate a lot of time to it and that is completely on me. So that's gonna be a goal that I'm gonna push on working with piano and that mobility, working out and being consistent with that. But I am excited for this fall. I'm ready to be out of the summer heat, 100% ready for fall and jackets and hoodies. I'm a hoodie person, so it will be fun. I think next month with this, I'm gonna change things up a little bit and I'm gonna focus more on my budget on how much money I'm spending on food and groceries and utilities and how much money I'm actually getting in and kind of break that down on a more 
specific level because I think that's going to help some people and I know my idea for this is to show people like my parents showed me on that budgeting your money and go over your finances and making sure that you're consistently hitting those goals. You don't have to be great at it, you just have to be consistent. So we're going to transition a little bit as far as this monthly update goes and focus more on the budget side of things and breaking down the income and other investments that I have going on. So that'll be coming up next month as well as a net worth updates. So we can kind of see how that plays out and let people know where my net worth is because I don't talk about that enough. I feel like people don't talk about finances enough. So we're going to break that down a little bit further and kind of focus on that area specifically. And we'll still have fun updates. We'll still show pictures of the dogs that I sit and the activities that I do, but that'll be the main focus. So next video will be coming out later this week, breaking down all of my dividends. And I will see you then. Bye guys.